So, I'm David Wiltshire. I'm a professor of theoretical physics at the University of Canterbury. So, in um, 2005, Science Magazine listed the most important challenges for science in the 20th century, and at the top of the list was the question, what is the universe made of? Because the conventional understanding is that 70% of the stuff out there is dark energy, some force in the vacuum of space, which uh, is an entire mystery. So what do I do? I'm trying to solve that problem. Um, how am I trying to solve it? I'm solving it by thinking about uh, things in the general theory of relativity, that's Einstein's theory uh, of gravitation and space-time. Uh, and there are bits of that theory which Einstein never finished. So I'm doing it by thinking about uh, fundamental questions, doing thought experiments in the manner that Einstein taught us to do, and uh, thinking about the notion, you know, uh, what's the difference between the expansion of space and motion? So fundamental questions, and I think there are new fundamental answers to be worked out. The, the, the question of how you define energy in Einstein's theory is not really well defined and it's something Einstein struggled with himself for years. If you look at his mistakes, which are very interesting, then you see that in trying to work out the theory of gravity, he struggled with this question. So uh, what I'm trying to do is to uh, think about the definition of gravitational energy in an expanding universe, in particular trying to quantify a notion of the kinetic energy of expansion of space, which is something that uh, has never really been done before. So, as far as I'm concerned, dark energy is really a misidentification of uh, gradients in the kinetic energy of expansion of space, and uh, so the, the universe is telling us something fundamental about bits of Einstein's theory, which Einstein himself and many other mathematical relativists ha has known are, are not well understood. So I got to this point by working hard and thinking outside the box <laughs> and asking a lot of questions and being self-critical and, um, and, and thinking about things from first principles. Uh, I was an undergraduate here so I came here on the advice of a family friend who I used to go tramping with, one Paul Callahan, because I grew up in Palmerston North. But, um, uh, so I did my undergraduate here, then I went to Cambridge University in 1983 and did my PhD supervised by Gary Gibbons in the group of Stephen Hawking. Uh, and after that I did postdocs in uh, Italy, the UK. I spent 10 years in Adelaide and I moved to Canterbury in 2001. Why do I enjoy this? Well, I think that trying to solve what at least Science Magazine calls is the biggest problem in science and um, thinking uh, fundamentally in the way that Einstein taught us to think is the most exciting thing you can be doing this side of Alpha Centauri, so why else would I be doing that? Fortunately, uh, the second law of thermodynamics has worked on it for a while. It should be purely black, um, but it's, it's heat sensitive. It's a, uh, these, these were handed out at uh, Stephen Hawking's 60th birthday party, and uh, so you can see something on one side, and then when it's filled with hot water, uh, something else about black holes, which are black, will spring into life. It's uh, all about Hawking radiation, which is thermal, so of course it's the, the thermal heat from the hot boiling water reveals Hawking radiation on the back. So there's physics in, in, in there's physics in the gimmick. <laughs>